Hey guys, so I wanted to get on here really quick and do my 14 and 15 week bump date. Um, so I've been so busy the past like couple weeks. Um, my sister-in-law and my nephew are visiting and we're just having so much fun with them um, that I just, I didn't get a chance to sit down and make this. So I'm going to do it really quick. Um, 14 weeks was kind of uneventful. My um, my nausea started to go away and I thought it was kind of gone and then it came back with a vengeance and yeah so that happened and that was not fun. Uh, especially at nighttime it was like still super super bad and I was gagging a lot. Um, just yeah not too much happened for week 14 and I forgot to take a bump picture so that's lame. Um, but yeah it was kind of just um, uneventful. Um, every morning I wake up I have cramps but it it's just because I have to pee and I remember kind of having that with Ian but not as bad. These cramps are like terrible in the morning until I go pee. As soon as I go pee I feel fine. Um, also during week 14 I think I might have felt baby move a little bit but I'm not sure. Not so much like kicking or anything like that but I definitely felt like I don't know, I felt something like kind of pressing up against one side of my stomach and I pushed there and it I could feel that it was like firm right there so I think that's where baby was and I felt the other side of my stomach and it didn't feel like that and then as soon as I started poking it it felt like almost like a very big gas bubble kind of shifted away and then the like firmness wasn't there anymore so I definitely think that was baby and I definitely think I felt it at week 14 but it definitely wasn't like a baby movement or anything I didn't feel like elbows or knees or feet or anything like that um and then let's see for week 15 I'm 15 weeks and two days today um my nausea is almost completely gone I think either yesterday or the day before no, it was last night. I did have a wave of nausea in the evening, uh, like around like eight or nine, and it kind of wasn't going away for a little while, but I did eat a snack and then, and then I was okay. Um, but yeah, for the most part, my nausea is almost completely gone, even at nighttime this week, which is good. Um, I am still gagging really, really badly when I brush my teeth, so that's not fun uh, because sometimes I get a little throw up in, so there's that and that's gross. Um, I have my appetite back, which is great. I'm hungry for everything and I love that feeling so much better than nausea and everything like seeming disgusting. Um, I feel a lot more movement this week, again, not kicking or anything like that, but um, kind of like if the baby goes from one side of my stomach to the other side of my stomach, I feel like it just feels like a big gas bubble kind of moving or shifting from one side to the other. And I did feel one jerking moment motion and it was so light that again, I just wasn't sure if it was like gas or baby, but I think it was baby. Um, but I was like laying on the couch. I had just drank a root beer and like a few minutes after I drank the root beer it just I felt like this like it just kind of felt like a on the inside of my stomach and and it didn't feel completely like a gas bubble so I think that that was baby I'm not sure it's happened a couple times um but I don't know I don't know with Ian I don't think I felt him until like 17 or 18 weeks so it might just be too early still to be feeling baby but I think what I'm feeling is baby and not gas now, I think. But it's still very few and far between and it's so incredibly light that I'm not completely positive yet. Um, still craving Chipotle, still can't have it, but like I said, almost all foods sound pretty good right now, so I haven't been craving it as much because I can eat other things and kind of, you know, feel better. Um, but yeah, that's it for week 14 and 15. Nothing really exciting. I do have a doctor's appointment next week, but I think it's just like a simple appointment. Um, there's not going to be an ultrasound or anything like that. So, you know, it won't be a super exciting appointment. I am still listening to baby's heartbeat. It's very easy to find now. I just put that probe right on my belly and there's baby. But as soon as I get it, it's gone. Like it, I get it. And then I hear like a big whoosh sound. And sometimes I can even feel the gas bubble feeling. And then I have to go find it on the other side of my stomach. So very active. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and show you my belly. And that'll be it for week 14 and 15.
can see it much better with this shirt. And my belly button popped out. <laughs> Oh, and I do have some weight gain. Um, I was 102 pounds pre-pregnancy, and I'm about 110 pounds now. I don't remember what I was when I did my 13-week update, so it might not have really changed that much, but it is a 8-pound increase, so that's awesome. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!